In this uh, educational video, I intend to talk about Goldack's double ellipsoid model and teach you all important points about that. Goldack's double ellipsoid model is uh, used for defining volumetric heat flux in the arc welding process. This model is the most famous and widely used model uh, for simulating arc welding process in the Abacus software. In order to define Goldax double ellipsoid model in the Abacus software, uh, we should use subroutine deflux. Goldax double ellipsoid model is composed of two ellipses uh, which are drawn by means of four parameters A, B, C, F and C, R. Actually, four parameters A, B, C, F and C, R define the size and shape of these two ellipses. In this picture, you can observe these four parameters in Goldax double ellipsoid model, in which A is half width of ellipse, B is depth of ellipse, C, F is the length of front, ellipsoidal and CR is the length of rear ellipsoidal. Actually, when you implement the arc welding process in the laboratory, an oval shape is created on the workpiece. In this picture, you can observe the oval shape having been created on the workpiece in the experimental sample. But here the question which arises is that how are these parameters gained? Actually, there are two methods for obtaining these four parameters. In the first method, you can obtain them in the laboratory, meaning that first uh, we should implement the arc welding process in the laboratory and then measure the parameters A, B, C, F and C, R from laboratory sample. The second method is that you can gain these four parameters from the reliable articles. In this article, uh, you can clearly observe these four parameters in which A is equal to 3 millimeters, B is equal to 4 millimeters, CF is equal to 1.5 millimeters, and CR is equal to 6 millimeters. In these three pictures, the concept of A, B, C, F, and C, R parameters in the abacus and theory and experimental models has been properly distinguished. Here I want to refer to a main point about B parameter. As previously mentioned, B is the depth of ellipse and is normally directed along the thickness. A question has been posed in this picture and that is if the welding torch travels a circular path which one of these pictures would be correct? In the left picture B is directed along Y and in the right picture, B is in a radial direction. As mentioned, 
B should be directed along the thickness. Therefore, the right picture is correct, meaning that B should be in a radial direction. Here, I intend to talk about two terms, front and rear, which exist in Goldack's double ellipsoid model. Here, suppose the car moves from left to the right. As you know, the right side of the car is called front and its left side is called rear. Here you should simulate the move of the welding torch to the move of a car. In this manner, front would be for x bigger than 0 and rear would be for x smaller than 0. Actually, if the welding torch or the car moves to the right, you should write down this formula for x bigger than 0 and this one for x smaller than 0. Now, in the second picture, the car moves to the left and so front would be for x smaller than 0 and rear would be for x bigger than 0. As previously mentioned, you should simulate the move of the welding torch to the move of a car. As you observe, the written formulas are defined with respect to the direction the car moves to. So if the car moves to the right or left side, the written formula will change accordingly. That's because front and rear directions will change. In this picture, the location of front and rear has been distinguished in Goldack's double ellipsoid model, in which front has been marked out with green color and rear with red. In fact, if the welding torch moves to the right, the right side will be front and the left side will be called rear. Actually, front is for z bigger than 0 and rear is for z smaller than 0. Front and rear are dependent on the direction the welding torch moves to. In this picture, you can observe the formula having been written down for front and rear. In the next slide, I intend to speak about welding power. Welding power, or the same energy input rate, is the formula uh, in which welding power is equal to the product of efficiency multiplied by voltage multiplied by welding current. Q is welding power, N is arc efficiency, V is voltage, and I is welding current. And you can observe Q parameter in Goldack's double ellipsoid model. The unit of Q, as you know, is what? In the next step, I want to speak about welding efficiency. Welding efficiency depends on these parameters. One, type of welding process, such as GTAW or SMAW. Two, type of inert gas such as argon or helium. 3. Type of workpiece such as steel or aluminium 
and 4. Other experimental conditions. In this table you can observe welding efficiency for different processes. In this article the welding efficiency is efficiency for TIG welding or the same GTAW has been considered to be equal to 70%. In the next slide, the parameters FF and FR have been distinguished. FF is front heat fraction and FR is rear heat fraction. And you can observe these two parameters in Goldax double ellipsoid formula. FF and FR parameters are calculated using these two formulae and you can observe them in this slide.